before I start, if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. This is the way. Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another one of my reveals videos. Um, I hope you've all had a fantastic, what they're calling Star Wars week. You know, here at The Forces with Jesse, I celebrate it every day of the year. It's just how I roll. But despite that, we had May the 4th. We had some amazing, amazing reveals. We had the Obi-Wan Kenobi official first trailer. We did see the teaser back in late March, but we do have a trailer now. And we do have the first few products revealed from the show. So we're going to talk about some Hasbro releases. And I thought, what better way to start than with some Black Series role-playing uh role-playing sort of toys, collectibles. Um, we have a re-release of Darth Vader's helmet. This is an updated version and based on the colors of the box. Um, this is going with the theme of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series, which is really, really exciting. Um, you can see in a few of these slides, he does have some more sort of redder tinged eyes, which is a little bit more accurate to his appearance in at least a new hope i know they were always red but they just they seem to stand out a little bit more as being red in a new hope so i assume they're going to go that way with um his appearance in obi-wan kenobi um but yeah it's looking good some probably some closer details i have the first release and um yeah it is packed away at the moment so i don't have it on hand to sort of look side by side but check out these images i think they look pretty cool i'm looking forward to seeing what what it looks like in person if if I get that opportunity. If not, um, check out some reviews of people that get it. Uh, next up, we have a new addition to the Ultimate FX lightsaber line. It is Obi-Wan Kenobi's lightsaber, which is looking absolutely beautiful. This is definitely going to be one on my shopping list. Um, I still don't have a Ultimate FX lightsaber. I do have one coming. Just need to uh, chip away at those payments so I can get Ray's lightsaber. So I'm looking forward to that. But Obi-Wan Kenobi's is super iconic. It is a lightsaber that has been part of Star Wars history for almost 45 years. Um, well, pretty much is 45 years at this point. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be looking forward to this one. And it looks great. So with that said and done, let's continue on with the black series given that those two items are part of the black series let's take a look at some figures that are coming out and the first one is a new addition to the return of the jedi line it is princess leia from her sort of endor ewok capture in her sort of ewok dress that the ewok stole off another woman and you know we can only assume that they ate her um <laughs> But yeah, she's just looking like a reasonably good figure. Looks like they've got the size proportions right. A little bit shorter. Um, I always thought in the movie she does appear to be quite tall in that dress. But, you know, we all know that Carrie Fisher was quite short. Um, and some of the figures have not reflected that in the past. past. Um, but yeah, it's looking nice figure. Uh, I wish the sort of face was a little less on the sort of angry side. She just looks a little bit grumpy. Um, she's just, I feel like... Her features should be just a little bit softer on that figure. So, otherwise, I'm happy with it. I think it'll be a nice addition. Um, probably not an essential one by any standards, but a cool one nonetheless. I am hoping that Wicket the Ewok is just around the corner to join with this one as well. Next up, we have another addition to the Clone Wars. It is a 187th Battalion Clone Trooper. At this stage, I believe this will be a Walgreens exclusive in the US, so it is one that we we'll probably won't be able to get a hold of at all here in Australia. Um, you know, stranger things have happened. Uh, we will see. It may already be up for pre-order if it is. Um, but yeah, being a Walgreens exclusive, they typically don't get released here in Australia at all. So we'll have to wait and see with that one. Um, now, I'm, I'm not 100% certain on which faction you know, which Jedi General these clones belong to. Um, I've heard some people say Mace Windu, um, which is potentially true, but I always thought he had purple troopers, but that could just be a Hasbro thing from the past. Um, so yeah, it's looking like a, you know, a cool clone that I won't be able to get hold of. But otherwise, nice work. It looks good. You know, it's another variant of clone for those army building. Um, personally, army building's just not an option anymore. <laughs> So let's take a look at what's next. 
And that is the New Republic security droid from that season one episode of Mandalorian where they infiltrate the uh, prison ship. Um, cool looking figure, looks to be uh, using some parts from K2SO, which is fine. Um, because that's how they looked in the show. Cool looking droid. Totally essential. Uh, no, I'm going to say no for this one. I will pick it up because I like the look of this droid. I think it's a really great figure. But uh, yeah, there's definitely more more they could have done first. I'm thinking like BT Super Battle Droid. Would have been a perfect time to release. Um, but yeah, this one, it's looking like a cool droid. But uh, yeah, definitely not essential. Next up, we have the official reveal of Figrin Dan. Uh, this is the single boxed version of the Bith leader of the band. Um, it does come with multiple instruments, so you can really fill out that cantina scene. Um, he's looking pretty good. It's looking like a nice figure. You know, we're going to have the uh, vintage collection scale ones coming out as well. So we're definitely going to be flooded with these guys at some point. Um, we'll either be flooded with them or there won't be enough. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it's going to work out to be quite expensive to complete a band. Um, particularly if, you know, these are going to be scarce and, and, you know, if we're all getting priced out of buying multiples like army building like I was just talking about, then uh, yeah, this one might be a one and done kind of situation. Um, for me personally, anyway, I'd like to complete the band, but I might just save for that for the vintage collection because I'd, I'd love to update those older figures, so... We'll see, but uh, yeah, next up we've got the del deluxe version with Nayland Chill, which is, this one is apparently going to be Hasbro Pulse exclusive, so again, another one going to have to probably fork out, you know, triple the cost on eBay to get a hold of it, um, but yeah, again, a, a cool deluxe release, he comes with all the different instruments you need to complete your band, um, you're going to need at least one of this, this, and then you can get four or five of the others, depending on how many band members are in your cantina band. Um, because, yeah, different sources say different members, different times. Doesn't matter. But, uh, yeah, again, same figure as Figure and Dan. I don't think there's any differences at all. None that I can pick out from any of these images. So, a nice release, I think. Um, really starting to sort of chip into that cantina a little bit more with the Black Series. Um, but yeah, there's definitely still some more main characters that should be done beforehand. But that's cool. I dig it. Alright, let's whip through some vintage collection figures. First up, we have the Mandalorian Super Commando. Another one that's uh, going to be definitely going to be hard to get. This is going to be another army builder for those that still can afford to army build. Um, but yeah, these are up for pre-order for I think 45 Australian dollars, which is just outrageous. That's more than what most places are selling Black Series for. So, yeah, Vintage Collection may be very, very much coming to an end uh, for my collecting strategy. If the prices are going to keep going up, um, then I'm not going to be able to afford to pick these figures up at 45 bucks for a figure that's, you know, quite a lot smaller than a, than a Black Series one. I'm just getting a little bit more bang for buck with the Black Series at the moment. So, We'll see. Hopefully some other retailers can price them accordingly. Um, it seems to be a thing at the moment where the prices are going to jump up. But uh, in terms of the figure, that's what I'm here for. It's looking pretty damn good. It's a nice looking Mando. Can't deny that. Um, we're going to be spoiled for Mandalorians. We have already been spoiled for Mandalorians. And we're going to continue to be with this awesome looking figure. So let's see what's next. And it is the long rumoured but recently revealed 332nd clone the ahsoka clone trooper this one looks okay um again they're sort of they're sort of missing the point with the uh with the oversized rubber helmet um this is one that has plagued the phase two clone troopers in the vintage collection for for, for nearly the entirety of the clone wars um sorry the vintage collection line uh since they sort of updated to that phase one sculpt of body um they really haven't matched the heads to go the helmets to go on the heads with this figure so that's probably the only thing that's really bumming me out about this figure i think it looks great on the card i'll definitely get one um at least one to keep carded maybe two because i'm gonna have a flank to hang out either side of ahsoka that's just the way we do the shelves you know that's just how we display them but yeah it's uh i don't know it's a little bit hit and miss for me just with that oversized helmet it's just just doesn't do it for me but still i'm glad they're getting some more clones out i think it's you know, a no-brainer that some people will, that will be army building will be absolutely <laughs> cranking these out. So, looking forward to seeing what it looks like in person. Next one is one that I called out for uh, 
while back when I was when they uh, re-released the Peasant Disguise Anakin Skywalker, and it is the standard Episode 2 Anakin on a beautiful looking Anakin card. And uh, yeah, this is a very nice update from the Black Series 3 3 quarter inch uh, figure from 2013, 2014 perhaps. Um, this time he's coming with a cape, um, which looks okay. Um, you know, whoever did the photos, nothing against them, but... Uh, it looks a little strange, but we can find a way to uh, make that sit a little bit better on Anakin. Um, and that will look good on the old Anakin, so um, I'm look, really looking forward to this one. That Episode 2 Anakin from the Black Series, you know, back in the back 10 years ago, is is a fantastic, fantastic figure. So this one will be primed for a, a new release um, and looks good on the vintage card. Let's hope uh, Padme's just around the corner. And we've got some new gaming greats figures. We have the heavy artillery stormtrooper from Jedi Fallen Order. This one looks cool. You know, we all love that stormtrooper sculpt that has uh, been coming out for the last couple of years. And yeah, this one is sporting a uh, heavy, heavy rifle. It's a, the Z9, Z9 rotary cannon, whatever it's called. I can't remember the names of all these things. It's, that sort of information gets pushed out my brain these days. But uh, yeah, it looks nice, nice card. I like that they've put the game logo up in the uh, up in the name slot up the top, as opposed to having that logo and just having it on a Star Wars card. Um, love that they're sort of splitting it up and dividing them into their individual sort of properties. Um, but yeah, another nice Stormtrooper. Looks awesome. And lastly, for Vintage Collection... We do have the Imperial Stormtrooper Commander from The Force Unleashed, another great update uh, for a figure that I never actually got. I did get the Black Series one when that was released a couple of years ago, uh, but this one is using, you know, using that brand new Stormtrooper sculpt and it's looking absolutely amazing. Love the card, love the look of that Stormtrooper with the blue stripe down the, down the sort of side of the face. Looks awesome, I, I'm, I'm a big fan, so I'm really excited for this one. This is one definitely be on my cards. Um, you know, it, it looks good. I'm really, really excited for this Stormtrooper. And rounding out this video, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi, Wandering Jedi. This is the appearance of Obi-Wan Kenobi from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. First figure revealed. Uh, this was revealed on one of the, I think it was Jimmy Jimmy Kimmel. Had Ewan McGregor on. Ewan McGregor held it up. Um, on camera and was very quickly officially revealed by Hasbro with some some of these quality images here looking really really good I'm impressed I know Ewan wasn't too too thrilled about how he looks he doesn't think it looks super accurate but you know for a, for a small scale action figure like this you know I think it's pretty good I'm, I'm excited for this one um, yeah really looking forward to seeing what else is going to come out in Kenobi uh, you know we're talking Inquisitors we're talking you know a new Vader potentially um, all sorts. So much potential for characters to come out. I'm looking forward to seeing what's coming out. Um, so yeah, that just about wraps up everything for May the 4th in terms of, you know, figures, toys, etc. Really looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Please sound out in the comments below. Thank you very much for hanging out and tuning in. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more content very, very soon. Stay tuned. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. May the force be with you always.